You're a star. We are forever, you and I. We stars. At the time, uh, they were doing uh, We Are the World. Ronnie had wanted to be part of that, but we were nasty, heavy metal, dirty people. We are fire and stone, and we all want to touch a rainbow. You know, often metal is marginalized and thought of as lowbrow or whatever. So many times those artists are not invited to the charity events and the charity recordings. So Ronnie decided to do his own heavy metal, We Are the World, and it was awesome. This project came about because of uh, a radiothon that the station KLOS held for two days. Our bass player, Jimmy Bain, and the guitar player, Vivian Campbell, noticed the lack of people representing our genre of music, our kind of stuff. Ronnie just wanted to show that we want to we wanna help too, but do something that's a little bit different. Every single musician that made it in the 80s, you know, we grew up listening to Ronnie. So anytime Ronnie would say, listen, I need you guys, we would say, yes, we're there. Because we wanted to be like him. He was a hero to all of us. You can think about anybody who was anybody on top at that time, and they were there. Do you know a lot of the people involved here today? Well, I'm meeting them out there, aren't I? I met the Ingrid Malmsteen person, you know, he's great. I like the way he puts Ingwe J. Malmsteen on his album, so you know you don't confuse him with all the other Ingwe Malmsteens in the business. You've got all of these people. We all know about each other and what we're famous for doing and not doing. Ronnie was the captain of the ship, and he steered us through what could have been an absolute catastrophe. <laughs> 